Hey loves, welcome back to another Peaceful Ambition video. Guys, I am so excited about this video today. But first and foremost, guys, of course, I have to thank you all for clicking on this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this video if you're not already part of the tribe. Also, guys, make sure you share this video. Let's get into it. So Tribe, today we're going to be talking about 10 habits or 10 things that can make a woman, I'm not even going to say or man, be more attractive. So we're going to go ahead and just dig into these 10 habits. And guys, as always, make sure you know either you're writing this down or just taking it in type of way because I feel like this can really help us. We want to make ourselves to be more attractive to um, significant, our significant others as well as ourselves. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, guys? So number one, the first thing that you can have or the first habit that you can hold to make yourself seem more attractive is to have confidence guys and no matter what you do not even just with dating or relationships you always have to carry that confidence you know when I say confidence that means you know walk with your head high always have your back up straight and you know when you're in situations even if you think that you're not good at it or you don't think that you can do it have that confidence that people won't even know what you're thinking you know when you are dating or when you're seeing someone you want to always show confidence in yourself you don't want to second guess yourself you don't want to kind of shrink down yourself because these people that you're getting to know you know they don't know you at all so what you display to them what you show them is what they're going to believe so if you show them that you have confidence and no matter what you do even if you're not confident they're going to believe that you have confidence in yourself and they're going to believe in you and it's going to build your confidence to even know that this person that you just met believes in you and they believe in your purpose and everything else but you have to show them that you have it first of all because if you show them that you don't have any confidence in yourself they're going to play on that they're going to start seeing okay you know what I can get in this person's head they don't believe in themselves so I'm going to keep on saying things so they don't believe in themselves and they believe in me who is a person that can steer them wrong so you always want to have confidence in yourself and know who you are before you even try to attract anyone else you know we want to attract good things to ourselves so we got to have that confidence to know that the things that are, are going to be attracted to us are positive and good things that we deserve okay so our second habit to have to make you more attractive is guys always try to have eye contact you ever talk to someone and they're looking everywhere else except for your eyes like to me I don't know about you guys but to me it kind of irritates me you know but I also know that you know when people are not looking at you you know maybe they're going through some things maybe they um, have self-esteem issues or maybe they're just not the pe person to really look you in your eyes but to me guys I feel like when you're talking to someone what you should be doing is looking them right in their eyes look through their eyes if you have to you know show them that you're listening to them show them that they that you have their attention so if you're trying to attract the opposite sex or just attract even friends you know it's good to listen to people to show them that you're listening by having that eye contact eye contact and that also goes to confidence because a lot of times you're not going to lock eyes because you don't have the confidence to you know show people that yeah I'm looking at you you can see my whole face I can see your whole face so you really want to go ahead and remember that confidence is key and all these things that I'm basically saying is kind of like a play off of confidence somewhat but guys having eye contact is very okay number three guys know what you want and when I say that I mean know what you want out of life know what you want to eat for dinner and know what you want to wear try not to be too complicated as women I know we have a lot of things going through our brain we have a lot of decisions to make on the daily but guys try to make it less complicated as possible you know like I said these are things that's going to make us attractive and attractive to men or the opposite sex or whatever the case is so you know the last thing that you want to do is have someone that's trying to get to know you and be so complicated that the person gives up you know you want to be simple when you're meeting people you don't need to tell them all your issues you don't need to tell them your deepest secrets keep it simple you know this is my favorite color this is what I like to do this is what um, I expect out of you or expect out of our, our relationship you know do those things to build a foundation and then as you guys grow you can make it a little bit more complicated you guys can you know know more things about yourself but in the beginning guys keep it simple keep it simple you don't want to make it too complicated you know if you're going on a date and you're going out 
to dinner and the person asks you, you know, where do you want to go? Don't say, oh, I don't know. Or let's go here. But let's go that place. Let's go. No, keep it simple. Keep it light. And, you know, it will bring more attractiveness to you. All right. So number four, carry a good vibe. Guys, you don't want to be the girl that, you know, um, that everyone is around. And you're just like, yeah or you're always sad or you know you just don't know how to have a good time of course everyone is different um, on how they have a good time or what they perceive to be a good time but guys always try to be high spirited always try to be lively you know like I always tell you guys you know life is not promised this world is so crazy these days we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow next week next month next year so when we're in the moment we need to really live in the moment be happy be happy that you're around people be happy you're on a date be happy that you know you are that attractive person that has that confidence that's not so complicated and you know you have a good vibe around you be that person that people want to be around and say you know what? I love being around Tierra every time I'm around her we just have a good time we know how to talk we know how to you know play together we just she's just the person that I just want to be around be that good vibe and I assure you guys you will be attracting a lot of different personalities a lot of different people and it won't just be for relationship status it will be for friendship it will be for business or whatever the case is so you definitely want to always try to carry that good vibe around all right so we are halfway through the list guys number five the fifth habit that a woman or guy can have to make them more attractive is demand your respect guys and I say this not loosely I say this with all seriousness guys we have to demand our respect and no matter what situation we are in if we are walking into the club if we are walking into work we're walking into anywhere we have to demand our respect and why I say that I don't say this loosely or lightly should I say is because respect is a big huge thing for me and it should be for everybody to me respect is the way that people treat you the way that people talk to you the way that people see you if they see you and treat you poorly or talk to you poorly that means they have no respect for you even when you are trying to attract the opposite sex or just attract people to have any type of relationship with you also have to show them that you know I can have a vibe I can be that positive person I can be silly but at the end of the day as long as you respect me we're good if you don't respect me then we're going to have issues so you always have to demand that respect make sure people know you know I can be this ha ha he he person but at the same time I'm so serious you know, you can talk to me, we can joke, but at the same time, don't disrespect me. So we always have to demand that respect. And you know, I can say this, ladies, if you have re some type of demand and respect about you, guys are going to look at you like, you know what, I'm not playing with her. She is serious. You know, she doesn't play. So I'm going to make sure that I get myself together when I talk to her or approach her because I see that she doesn't play. And that's what we want, ladies. We don't want someone or some guy just to come up to us and say, hey, girl, no we want you to come to us correctly because you see that we don't play games that everything about us means you better come correct or you want to be left to the side so guys demand your respect okay so just as easy as I said demand your respect and you know sometimes kind of be that person is like what excuse me guys we also have to be submissive yes you know I'm playing both sides but guys it's okay to be demanding it's okay to kind of have that stern personality about you but also guys we have to be soft we have to know that sometimes we're not always going to be in control or sometimes we can't always be the captain and guys I actually did a tea time on tea on this so if you guys want to learn more about being submissive or what I mean by this please go ahead and check out that video but guys we want to be submissive sometimes we want to show our significant other or whoever it is that we're in the relationship with, with that you know we're not stingy we can we can share we can share the spotlight you know sometimes you're going to be the person that I'm going to listen to without question and sometimes it's going to be vice versa so we yes we will demand our respect but at the same time guys we have to know when to tone not tone down our respect because no matter what we need respect but when to know to tone down um I guess the captain <laughs> tone it down sometimes it's okay to be co-captain it's okay to even be a crew member so you know being submissive is also something that can be really attractive to the opposite sex or your significant other or whoever it is okay tribe so number seven is have your life put together or at least show that you're trying to put your get put your life together guys no one life is perfect no one life is easy so with that being said you know you have to be the person who deems your life put together and what I mean by put together is you know you're working towards something you're not just living your life every day just to wake up and do nothing no you set goals 
no you know what you want in life you have five-year goals you know you're living purposefully you're not just waking up and just being like hey you want to go on a date no we're going on a date because in a couple years i want to get married or this is my five-year goal so what's your five-year goal you know try to pull your life try to have something about your life and not just be i'm here guys you know there's nothing to me a less attractive than a person that you know i'm trying to get to know um well i haven't done this in a long time but i can imagine you know i'm trying to get to know someone maybe possibly date them and i tell them you know in five years you know i plan on buying a house and this and that and i just got a car and i plan on getting a promotion what about you and then they say you know i don't know i haven't thought that far or you know i just plan on just staying where i am i think i'm good to me that would be a red a red x because no where you are now shouldn't be where you are in 10 years unless you know you are absolutely happy where you are in life and i really don't think that's possible but guys we always want to find a way to you know up our lives do things to upgrade us so you want to make sure that you are doing those things constantly try to get yourself put together because before you try to jump into a relationship or friendship or whatever the case is you want to make sure that you have yourself put together because you can't try to dedicate yourself to a relationship or other people when you don't even have yourself together so i hope that makes sense for you all so that is number seven guys try to have your life to put together okay so for my number eight i have don't carry baggage from old relationships and i say this more so in a dating relationship sorry guys i'm outside <laughs> i say this more so for dating relationships you know you don't want to meet someone that you're dating and you kind of basically treat them based off of what you went through in the past guys if you feel like you are doing that, maybe that means that you are not ready to date or you're not ready to be in a relationship. I know sometimes people have trust issues and other issues because of the past relationships, but when you meet someone new and you're just trying to start a, a new future with them, we can't let those things carry on to the next relationship because all you're doing is carrying things and you're you know, basically making it unfair for the person that you're trying to get to know. So we wanna make sure that any type of baggage or any type of hurt feelings or whatever the case is that we have, that we leave them at the door when we're trying to move on to the future you know we don't want to carry anything on um, that's going to hurt anyone anyone else's shoulder you know we don't want to carry burdens that's going to do nothing but hurt our hearts at the same time so we definitely want to be positive and have a new outlook with people and things as we move on in the future and not carry those burdens. okay guys so my number nine we are almost done number nine is guys no matter what size you are or how you look, try to always look put together. Now, I can tell y'all this. I'm not really a makeup person right now. I have lipstick on and maybe a little um, mascara, but that's it. But, you know, with me, to me, that's putting myself together. Someone else can look at me and be like, girl, what? You are not put together. You need to put this on and that on. But this is how I see myself put together. I got clothes on. They clean. My hair is partially combed. So I'm good. So really what I'm saying, have yourself put together, is... Put yourself together the way that you see yourself fit. You know, if you have a nice little dress on, um, you know, that you bathe, brush your teeth and all that stuff, you're put together if that's what you feel. If you feel like you being put together is putting all your jewelry on and having your hair extra nice and um, makeup on that stuff, then that's fine because it's about you, how you feel, how you feel you look right. You know, it's not what anyone else is thinking. It's not their opinion of how they feel, you know, you should look when you're put together. This is me. I like to be simple. I like to be natural. I like to be Tierra. So, you know, if this is how I feel put together, then this is the way that I'm going to dress myself when I'm going out or whatever the case is, you know, because like always, guys, we don't live in any anyone else's lens. We don't live in anyone else's lane. So when I say put together, it's the way that you see yourself, not how other people will see yourself. So that is my number nine, guys. Always try to be put together. So my number 10, we are at the end. Can y'all believe it? Number 10, people, is show self-love. Guys, I cannot stress this anymore. Show self-love. I wanted to make this number one, but I figured I should begin it with the most important, which is confidence, and also show self-love. Guys, when you are um, just living life, you know, you always have to show self-love. And all these factors that I mentioned actually are all things that show self-love, having confidence, 
that is self-love. Um, you know, having a good vibe about yourself, being uplifting, that is self-love. Everything is. So, guys, we have to remember that confidence is key. Self-love is key. With those things, we should have everything else on the list. You know, you want to always have respect for yourself. That is self-love. So, again, guys, I hope this quick video helped you all in, um, you know, 10 habits or 10 things that a woman or man can hold or have to be attractive. So guys, if you deem this video to help you, please make sure that you go ahead and share this video because you never know how it can help someone else. And also guys, make sure you comment down below anything that you think can add on to this list. Maybe instead of 10, next time we can have 20. So guys, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. I love seeing your comments. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit me up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Akira's View and The Amazing Johnsons. Guys, I love you guys as always. Thank you, Peace Tribe. Till next time, peace out.